Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Dr. J, and we're back with some more NBA 2K18, my team. And what I have for you guys today is some, uh, um, not gameplay. Um, gameplay is coming soon, by the way, but, um, what I do have for you guys is a new Ruby card that I'm about to receive, and it's, uh, from the Indiana Pacers current collection, and it's Roy Hibbert. And, um, I've been needing a, like, really good center, and this is actually gonna help me a lot, you know? So, um, this set wasn't that um, cheap to be honest, but I was able to uh, get some players when they were like first put up for like really cheap. So like this, uh, um, Demontis Sabonis, I got 15 for like 1500, which is a little bit cheaper than he normally goes for. And I also just completed uh, Corey Joseph, his set, uh, or like his card, and I just bought him for. Uh, 2200 and so you can see he goes for like 3000 and like yesterday there was um, one that was just put up and for like 500 MT so I tried buying it but someone had already gotten him before me so I wish I could have gotten him but like he the, some of these players are pretty expensive and um, some players I got for pretty cheap like Al Jefferson who normally goes for like three to four thousand I got him for like just I think like around a thousand or so so I was pretty fortunate enough um, and I was kind of debating getting this set because I was trying to think of like long term what my team would look like because um, currently right now I'm um, almost done with uh, I'm not quite done yet I still got I'm almost um, two thirds of the way through with the uh, historic domination but basically um, after um, you complete the uh, 87 Lakers you're going to be given like four Ruby players um, because of like those uh, jersey collections plus when you get those four you get two amethysts and you get a diamond so I was thinking you know like pretty soon I'll be able to have like um, one even when I get that amethyst um, card after complete historic domination I'll have an all uh, ruby amethyst and diamond lineup so you know getting this uh, new Roy Hibber I was kind of confused because you know there'll be like one ruby I have on my bench now but it's good that I'm getting him because like I was thinking you know like for my reserve three players like the, the last three players on my bench uh, for my future lineup with the rubies and the amethyst and those diamond I'd have like uh, two point guards and one shooting guard I think so um, I kind of need a better backup guy so um, Roy Hibbert should be a pretty good piece for that but yeah we're gonna go right here so you can complete the Pacers collection and redeem Roy Hibbert now once you redeem a complete collection it must remain complete you will no longer be able to sell or auction cards within that collection would you like to proceed yes I will and um, it sucks that like these current collections like they barely have any like big guys like um, Roy Hibber, as you can see, he's the card of, like, right there, but there's, like, not many big guys, um, the only other ones I can think of are, like, this, uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim power forward, and then the, the Nuggets that came in Matambo, but that set is pretty expensive because there's a lot of cards within them that are either cheap or just super expensive, like, this Jameel Nelson, pretty expensive just for a silver, and, uh, uh, it's not worth it, honestly, Honestly, because, um, I mean, Dikembe would be a great player to have, but it's pretty expensive, so I don't think uh, I'll end up doing that, unless I need it to complete, like, more of those goals to get more play rewards, so, um, but we're about to get uh, our fourth, I think our fourth Ruby from, like, the current collections, and it says Pacers Collection Reward Roy Hibbert. Let's go ahead and open him, and luckily I didn't have, have to spend too much MT, but it was a pretty expensive uh, set. But I do have a lot of still remaining. There's the Ruby Glow. Oh, dude, this is going to be awesome. Alright, let's not waste any more time. 3, 2, 1. Come on, Roy Hibber. Let's go, man. <laughs> dude, we got 88 center Roy Hibber. Uh, this is going to be awesome. I'm so happy that the rewards uh, for like the regular teams are a lot better than last year because all they were last year were like Sapphires except for like the Thunder which was uh, a Ruby, Ricky Pierce. But I love that all these are Rubies now and it, it just makes things a lot easier for when you're doing like all the, the hard modes like Domination and and Historic and all time. So but man, this is going to be awesome to use way here. But uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go and uh, check them out. Dude, this is awesome. I'm so excited I got him. And look quickly, let me 
get rid of my active beds, so 2200 right there, and then you saw the other Demontis Sabonis was uh, 1500. Um, so currently this is my lineup. I have Derek Fisher at my point guard position. I have Steve Smith at small forward, at shooting guard I mean. Small forward, uh, Amethyst Ronald Test, power forward, Jamal Mashburn, and at um, center I have Anthony Davis. And then for my panics, I have Byron Scott, LeBron, Russell Westbrook, DeMarcus Cousins, uh, Paul Millsap, Kyrie Irving, Cedric Spalos, and Hassan Whiteside. Um, so pretty much now I guess I can take out this Hassan Whiteside since um, obviously, you know, this is going to be a better card. But still get the stats, it seems like he's like a lot better of a player. And even compared to uh, Hibbert, uh, or, uh, compared to Cousins, yeah, it looks like Hibbert's still better. So uh, I'm going to take him out for... Let's do for Hibbert right here. How is he if you put him at the center? 94. Wow. That's crazy. And how is it for here? 92. I'm going to keep um, um, Mashburn at the uh, the power forward position. Let me just rearrange like, how I, my lineup should be right now. Um, I think... Dude, this is actually really nice because I have like an all... Uh, like all the correct positions on my bench um, And normally like for like my last three players I like to have either like I like to have a point guard and a small forward and a center at least So at least they can make, play multiple positions, but this works out pretty good too But uh, dude a 94 system proficiency. That's crazy. All right, let's check him out We got the former one year uh, Laker <laughs> In my lineup now, he wasn't very good with the Lakers, uh, I'll admit that. Uh, defensive overalls at 86 and 82 offensive. I was hoping those would be higher. I know he's a better defensive player, but I thought defense would be a little bit higher, but I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll work with that. I mean, pretty soon he won't even be in my starting lineup. He'll be like my, probably my third best center because I'll be getting, uh, um, that Bill Russell and then um, I'll be able to use like some of the power forwards I get for the Amethyst as like my center so he's got uh, six goal badges uh, he's got putback king defensive stopper rim protector chase down artist bruiser and brick wall um, a inside scoring that's good B minus mid-range scoring that's actually better than I thought it was going to be so that's nice uh, F for three point scoring we know he can't shoot threes D minus playmaking uh, yeah, I mean he's a center. Primitive defense is a D because you know he's mainly like a post guy. A plus post defense as well as A plus rebounding. That's nice. F for athleticism. Uh, that sucks. Um, and basketball IQ is an A minus. That's nice. And potential and overall of both A's. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Standing layups in 94. That's nice. Uh, post hooks in 93. That's really good. Uh, draw fouls 88. That's gonna be really nice when like I have to complete free throws, you know for those domination games um, Shot close is a 93. That's nice uh, Open shot mid range is 81. That's I can work with that. I was hoping it'd be a little higher, but that's okay Open shot three is a 45 uh, It's not too bad 79 free throw. That's okay uh, Box out is an 88 as well as uh, 88 for offensive and defensive rebounds. That's nice. Um, block is a 90. Shocking test is a 90. That's really good. Steals a 57. Hoping that'd be higher, but it's okay. Defensive consistency is a 90. Uh, standing dunks 90. That's nice. Speed is 39. Yeah, that's the problem that sucks with this course. That he's pretty slow. Um, strength is 93. Stamina is 90. Shot IQ is 92. And off and offensive. Uh, Consistency is an is an 80, excuse me. So yeah, this card is pretty good. Um, like obviously, I think um, you know there's probably better players to get, but I think when this game first like initially long, uh, launched, uh, I think this Roy Hibbert card was probably like the second best center in the game. Uh, and number one was like that Shack that you got from pre-ordering the the Legend Gold Edition, or the, just like the Legend Edition. So. Um, yeah, I think this card is going to be pretty good, especially like on defense, that would be really nice. Um, how is he compared to, um, how, how do you, can you compare from like right here? No, you can't. Um, hang on a sec, I did not mean to do that. Let me just put this card here, Luke Walton. Uh, I wanted to compare to see, uh, so 
War Hero is better just because it's like the defensive is also up by one. Um, although Anthony does have more, actually no, they're the same on like for greens. Um, I forgot, I wanted to check. Wait, actually this is what I wanted to check right here. So yeah, he actually is a little bit better than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis for like the inside and mid wing scoring, so that's actually nice because that's one thing I was a little bit worried about, but um, that actually makes me uh, more happy now. So let me put him there and take Luke Walter now. And what's his salary cap is 400 in case you guys are interested. It may change later on, but I don't know. But currently, my lineup is looking really nice. Like, this is like way better of a lineup that I had like at this point last year and it's like uh the first it's like the second week of October currently at the time you guys seeing this so dude this is sick so just to recap my starting lineup is Derek Fisher at point guard Steve Smith at shooting guard uh Amethyst Ron Artest at small forward um Jamal Mashburn at uh power forward and Roy Hibbert at center then we got Byron Scott LeBron James Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, Kyrie Irving, Cedric Sabalos, and Paul Millsap on my bench. Dude, this is a, such a good lineup, and I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure I don't need... Yeah, like, I guess, yeah, there's not really any other players I'd trade for Millsap. I mean, I have a couple 91, uh, 391, uh, 81 uh, power forward emeralds on my team, but... I don't know, like, this Dennis Rodman isn't that good, to be honest, in my opinion. Like, he's too short, and so a lot of times they put him at small forward when he can't shoot. So that's kind of a problem, but, uh, dude, this is, I'm, I'm actually really happy uh, I got this code. I think it's going to be really nice for, like, uh, defense and stuff. And how was, I'm trying to remember how Anthony Davis was right here. He was only a 63, so that's actually, uh, and how was he, like, right here, let's see. 70 so yeah it wasn't uh yeah I'd, paul it's honestly better having uh what's his name uh roy hipper on wait i thought what the heck how did it why did it switch like that it does a weird thing where like if you switch it but like you move down as it's doing the process it'll just move it over it's kind of weird but dude this lineup is beastly i'm so excited i got this card and here's one more look at roy hipper um if you guys are interested in getting this set, um, I think it'd be worth it, especially because there's not many big players in the in this game so far. They will come out more eventually, but for now, I think this is one of the cards that you should definitely go get. Either him or uh, Dikembe Matambo. Although that Dikembe Matambo set is going to be pretty expensive, and this one's a little bit cheaper. So also, if you're interested in getting either, just kind of. Uh, be on the auction house a lot just to make sure like you can get players when they uh, get put up for really cheap so it's kind of it's kind of stupid how like um this year they've changed it so the uh, auction house like when you're putting in a certain like um when you're kind of trying to put in certain like settings or whatever if you like type it in or whatever and then you press back it will end up just like erasing. It won't save what you've done. So they kind of did that so then people can't snipe as much, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. But um, but man, I'm really uh, excited I got this set. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, this video of me getting uh, another Ruby on my team. And uh, pretty soon I'll be um, finishing up Historic Domination. Uh, I only have uh, about nine games left until um, I get my ruby players and my amethyst and my diamond players So that'll be coming in a video soon, and I uh, can't wait to make that for you guys, too I may even see if I can try to like uh, I don't know if I'll live stream it, but at least I'll try to get some gameplay up see if I can uh, whenever uh, the time is available whenever the time's right so but yeah that's gonna wrap this up you guys hope you guys enjoy this video and uh yeah thanks for watching you guys there'll be more coming soon and until next time later peeps oh and yeah be sure to follow me on twitter at drj24 gaming to keep what i post and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel to keep up more nba 2k18 call of duty and gta5 as well later peeps